Good morning everyone. Welcome to English class with teacher Munira. Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are having a fantastic day today. So, today we are going to learn unit 7, healthy and wise. If you have your textbook with you, turn to page 64 and 65. On the page 64, Let's read together. In the old days, food tasted better and was more nutritious. This is because of the cooking methods our great-grandparents used. There were no modern appliances like microwave ovens, food processors or automatic cookers like what we use today. Food may be cooked faster in modern times, but... It is not as tasty or nutritious as the food our great-grandparents cook. In yesteryears, our great-grandparents used charcoal to cook. They would use a pestle and mortar to pound their spices. The spices were then used to marinate raw food such as fish and chicken or to cook curries. They would wrap fish in banana leaves before grilling the fish over a fire. They also cook vegetables which were freshly picked from their own gardens. Thus, the, nut the nutritional value in the food was maintained and it tasted better. Okay, so what is this paragraph about? This paragraph is about how our great-grandparents used to cook their food. Okay, they are using what they had during that time. For example, they have mortar and pestle. And they have fire. And they wrap their food in banana leaves. And also, they use charcoal to cook. Okay, what is charcoal? Charcoal ialah arang. Okay, kalau awak perasan orang zaman dulu dia tak ada dapur gas macam kita. Okay, kalau awak pergi museum, contoh kalau awak pergi Langkawi. Awak pergi Langkawi, when you went to Langkawi and you visit the Mahsuri Museum, okay, over there, you akan tengok replika contoh-contoh rumah. You boleh masuk and then you pergi dekat dapur and you tengok. Ada dapur gas ke? Tidak ada. So, there are no gas stove during our great-grandparents era. What they use is they use charcoal and fire to cook everything. Macam kita pergi camping lah Kalau kita pergi berkemah Mana ada kita bawa dapur gas Siapa nak pergi kotong gas yang berat tu kan So, apa yang kita buat? Kita cari kayu kering, daun kering Kita buat unggun api untuk memasak So, that's how it is during our great-grandparents days Okay so, selain cara memasak, kenapa lagi, apa lagi yang ada dalam petikan ni? It is about the food itself, pasal makanan tu sendiri. Pada zaman great grandparents kita, makanan diorang taste better and more nutritious. Sebab apa? Sebabnya bahan-bahan makanan mereka tidak diproses seperti yang kita dapat pada hari ini. Contoh. Kalau kita nak makan fries Zaman great grandparents Kalau dia nak makan fries Dia buat dari scratch Buat daripada awal Okay Dia tanam dia punya potato sendiri Dia harvest dia punya potato And then Dia potong-potong potato And then dia Goreng potato sendiri Tapi Kalau zaman sekarang Semuanya sudah diproses di Kilang. Sebab itulah kita lebih banyak makan fast food berbanding kita punya great grand parents. Besides that, our method of cooking also different from our great grandparents. Sekarang kita ada apa? Oven, kita ada microwave, kita ada 
uh, dapur gas, kita ada food processor, kita ada blender, everything. Tapi kalau great grandparents kita nak blend something, dia just guna pestle and mortar. Tahu tak pestle and mortar tu apa? So, pestle and mortar ialah lesung. Okay, tu ada gambar lesung kat tepi. Okay, so... Okay, answer the questions. State how food was prepared in the past based on the passage above. Okay, kita dah discuss tadi. Okay, and then number two. Describe how food is prepared in your home. Okay, ni sama ada you nak guna passage dekat atas, nak cakap ada microwave ke, uh, food processor ke, ataupun you tanya, you can ask your father or mother, you ask them how they prepare food dekat rumah you. Macam mana dia orang sediakan makanan? Guna apa? Ha. Okay, guna apa? Guna dapur gas ke? Guna blender ke? Masak macam orang sekarang masak? Okay. And then number three. Discuss the different methods of the old days and the current time. Apa perbezaan methods dia? Okay. Teacher dah cakap tadi, methods orang dulu dia guna apa? Pestle eh? Mota. Lepas tu dia guna api. Bara api dan juga dia guna arang. Tapi orang zaman sekarang dia guna dapur gas. Dia ada blender ataupun food processor. Okay. So now let's move on to page 65. Okay. This poem. Let's read together. For us. To be healthy, wealthy and wise. It's more than just a hard work. Early to bed, early to rise. We get both pain and perk. For us, to be healthy, wealthy and wise, always eat well and keep fit. Breathe fresh air and exercise bad habits we must quit. For us, to be healthy, wealthy and wise, avoid fast food and sugary drink. Listen and act on good advice and life will be in the pain. Okay. So, what do you think this poem is about? Okay, so this poem is about how to become healthy, wealthy and wise. Okay, this dia sudah bagi tahu cara-cara untuk menjadi healthy, wealthy and wise. Okay, each paragraph contain at least two. At least two. Two activities that can keep us healthy, wealthy and also wise. So, total ada six activities. Okay. So, what is the poem about? Okay. Okay, I've already answered that. State three ways to be healthy, wealthy and wise. Okay, state three ways. Nyatakan tiga cara. Okay, dalam poem tu ada enam. Nyatakan tiga sahaja. Find the meaning of these words and phrases. Number one, wise. B, perk. C, quit. D, and the pain. Okay, okay. Satu, dua, A, B, C, D. Okay, you boleh guna, nak guna dictionary ke, you nak guna... Uh, Google ke up to you Tapi D tu in the pink ialah satu ayat ya Dia satu ayat Jangan pula cari in tu apa D tu apa pink tu apa Jangan Dia satu ayat In the pink tu maksudnya apa Okay So please do all answer the questions in your exercise book and then after you are done take a picture and send it at the comment section in the telegram i think that's it from me bye bye